All right, what's up, Angel? But for those of you watching, um, I'm honestly very upset right now. Like, very pissed off with the online shop, RageOn.com. Which, as many of you know, I've been putting out my custom clothing line on there. Well, this morning, a very dear friend of mine from the UK, Sam Watkins, who's a very good friend of mine from the UK, wound up buying a pair of my custom shoes for $80, right? You gotta figure, 80 bucks for a custom pair of shoes, it's actually really good. Because you know they're custom designed, custom made. Well, out of that $80 that he spent, I'm only getting $8. Out of that whole $80, bucks, i am only getting $8. Out of the entire thing. So, where is that fair? Like, that's literally next to nothing. Compared to what I should be making. I should at least get 30% of that $80. At least. Because, you know, I've busted my ass working on that art piece to have it put on those shoes. It took me three hours to work on that art piece. And then, you know, to have it put on the shoes and have somebody buy it for $80. And then me only get $8 out of that whole 80 bucks that that dude spent. Where is that fair? Seriously, like, I'm very disappointed with Rage On. So if you guys are planning on starting an online shop, do not use RageOn.com. They are seriously a ripoff. Like, I should be getting everything that he paid for. Like, you know, I should be at least getting, you know, half of what you know, he spent, like, at least 30% should go to the owner of that store, which is me, like, at least 30, at least, because, you know, with 30 bucks, with, you know, 30% of $80, you know, I can go off of that, I can do something with that, but $8, are you fucking kidding me? And then I have to wait 30 days, and then I have to build up. In order to cash out, I have to make $30. In order to be able to cash my money out. On that site. Now you tell me where that's very fair. Hey Corey, what's up bro? Hey Rob. Hey Luke. Hey Alicia. And what up, Angel? But, like I said, if you guys are planning on, you know, like starting up your own custom online clothing shop, you know, I would suggest something else like, say, Printer Studio, because Printer Studio you can do a lot with, and you do get to keep what you make. I have seen that. Um, there are other online shops, um, like, made by humans. I'm looking into that. It's a brand new one. Um, it looks like it's going to be really good. I am working on a clothing line for that. But seriously, though, to only get $8 out of that 80 bucks that Sam spent on a custom pair of shoes that I worked my butt off on making, where is that fair that I don't get the money that... I earn working on that. Hey, Kayla, what up? Yo, Kayla, it has been a long time, dude. What is up? How have you been? If you guys don't know Kayla, she's actually a really old friend of mine. Haven't seen her in on in forever, so what up, Kayla? What's good? Welcome to the live streams. But, you know, the fact that I'm only getting $8 out of that 80 bucks, you know, it's a ripoff. 
It really is. Like, you know, I bust my ass on every single art piece that I have on my clothing line. I worked my ass off on every single piece. And yes, Danny Poison, who is a very good friend of mine, who is a former employee for Ubisoft. If you guys don't know who Ubisoft is, they're a major, major game creation company. They've done games like the Tomb Raider series, um, Assassin's Creed, Prince of Persia, um, Sean White snowboarding and skateboarding. And so they've done a lot of, you know, really good games. But even he was also enough to pitch in some of his, you know, ideas to help me out a little bit. So thank you, Danny. You're awesome. Hey, Rachel, what up, sis? I do apologize for not calling you lately, Rachel. I've been super busy helping mom out, so don't worry. After the live stream, I am going to call you and Marcus up to pop in on you guys and say what's up. Um, I'm also glad to see you guys are safe from the hurricanes. Like, that's awesome. But, you know, like I said, you guys, for Ray John to only give me $8 out of that $80 that Sam spent to, you know, have my shoes, you know, custom, you know, built and sent to him. Like, where's the fear that I only get $8 out of that whole $80? Because, you know, I worked my ass off. Granted, I know they need to be making some kind of money. I get that, but to take and give the owner of that shop eight dollars for out of eighty bucks for an expensive eighty pair dollars of custom made shoes, like that's a straight up rip off. I should at least get thirty percent, if not half of that. I should at least get forty, at least. You know, I worked really hard on that stuff. Granted, if you don't mind losing a little money, you know, that's fine. Like, you know, if you don't mind getting paid just a little bit, you know, that's fine, that's whatever. But my suggestion, look for another online shop to open up, man. Because Ray John is, it's stupid, it's ridiculous. Like, I have a ton of really good designs that I'm not going to be getting what is worth. Like, you know, I have a lot of artwork. I have a lot of freaking, you know, clothing that I've handmade artwork-wise from the ground up. And for me to not make half of what my stuff is worth, like, that's not really fair. That's a straight-up rip-off. And then to have to earn 30 bucks on Rage On just to cash out that's bullshit I don't know I really don't know Sam or Angel I don't know sorry there was another person named a really good friend of mine named Sam that just popped in for a sec but to those of you that have gotten ripped off by Rage On I do apologize a hundred percent to you like, I was stupid enough to become a victim to these guys. Um, I will continue to sell on there, though, just to kind of give it a chance. You know, once I get my $30 on there, I am cashing out. And I am shutting down shop on there. And reopening in a brand new store. With all new artwork and everything. So, be ready for that. Um... Also, if you guys go to my timeline, I do have an account on the app called Star Maker. I've been doing covers of, you know, really good songs that I know, like stuff by bands like Suicide Silence, Linkin Park, Evanescence, um, even a couple, you know, like well-known bands that aren't like as huge. Um, one of them being Upon a Burning Body, huge fan of them. Love their music, um, you know, their music has actually helped inspire, you know, not only a lot of my music, but a lot of my artwork 
and it's actually helped me to develop, you know, myself as a person and just all around in general. But like I said, guys, I will be opening up shop in a new store. More than likely, like if the site called Made by Humans is good enough, you know, I will be opening up through them if they are fair about it. But one site I know you guys can count on is Dizzy Jam. You guys can go there and look up my shops. It's in my YouTube channel. And so, you know, you guys can go there. And you guys will be getting what you pay for. Like, let's say you buy a hoodie for $40. You're not only getting a hoodie, but you're getting my full dubstep album in deluxe edition for free download. And you guys are wondering what the album name is. It's actually called Urban Warfare. And speaking of Urban Warfare and on that subject, my music manager and good friend, you know, Possessed One, he went out to the Odd Mall, which I do apologize for not being there, guys. If any of you were there, I do apologize for that. But a lot of people did. He did play some of my songs during his set. And people were loving it. They want to hear more. So hopefully, you know, something will be done. Hopefully, you know, like a lot of people were loving it. They were listening to it, asking about it. So, you know, I do have some sort of a fan base growing on there. So, you know, like, thank you to Possessed One for putting my music out there and getting people to listen. You freaking rock, dude. Oh, I will, for sure. Um, I'll be doing that. Um, I'll be posting also my um, Star Maker account as well. I'll be posting my link. Or if you go to my timeline, it's on my timeline. I have a brand new song that I did a cover of called Bring the Rain by Upon a Burning Body for actually one of my really good fans who I actually just met last night who has actually been a long time fan of my work. Didn't know they had a Star Maker account until they freaking messaged me and actually commented on my cover of Bring the Rain. So, you know, that was really cool to see an old school fan of my work have a account on Star Maker. So, you know, that's a really cool thing to see. So, you guys can go check that out. Um, I currently have 11 song covers out. I'm going to be working on more. Um, I also did a cover of my good friend Six Seconds or Shizzy Six or Suicide Six, as you guys know, from YouTube. They actually have his song, The Best Video Game Rap, ever up on that. I did do a short cover of that. So, you know, I had a lot of fun doing that one, too. Like, that's, like, the song that got me hooked on his work that got me, you know, talking to him and, you know, ultimately becoming really good friends with him. But if there aren't any, you know, metalcore or heavy metal songs, like, by bands like Suicide Silence, um, Bring Me the Horizon... You know, anything like that. Like, that you guys want to see me do covers of? Post them on my timeline and I'll see what I can do. I'll definitely gladly do some melodic screen vocal covers of some of those songs for you guys. Like, I'm always down for doing, you know, metal cover songs and screen vocal cover songs. Uh, bands that you guys like to listen to that are similar to what I can do. Like, I did do a cover of Going Under by Evanescence as well as Crawling by Linkin Park, which those two I had a lot of fun with. Hey, Steph, what's up, sis? Guys, if you don't know, this is one of my best friends in the world from high school. 
This is Stephanie Sinsel. She's one of my closest friends. She's like literally a family. What is going on, Steph? What is up? Welcome to the live stream, Steph. And the, like I said, you know, originally in the beginning, guys, you know, if you guys are looking to open up a shop, do not trust Rajon.com. They are a ripoff. You know, if, and here's my thing, if I only got $8 out of that $80 pair of shoes that my friend Sam bought, you know, it makes me wonder how much I'm going to get for a $25 t-shirt that I made. Like, and then the fact that I have to wait 30 days for the transaction on top of having to wait to make $30 on Rajon just to cash out. Like, dude, that's pretty fucked up. So, like I said, I will be working on a brand, brand new shop, probably through the site called Human or Made by Humans. From what I've seen, it's a great shop. You know, I've been looking into it here and there, and from what I've seen, it's really good. But, you know, after I do make enough sales to get 30 bucks, I am going to be cashing out. And shutting down shop on Rage On, sadly, because I know I've had it up for a while. So, you know, I will be shutting down shop on there after I get $30 and I'm able to cash out. So, you know, it's, it's sad. You know, like, and my friends, keep in mind, my friend Sam Watkins, the one that bought my custom pair of shoes for 80 bucks. You know, he's over in the UK. I mean, that could be why I'm not going to be getting that much because they're sending it to the UK. I don't know. I really don't. I can't say. But all the same, I should at least be getting half of what he paid for. Aww. <laughs> Love you too, sis. Take it easy. Hey, Jamie, what up, dude? And yes, you are, Angel. You're definitely one of my best friends here on Facebook, for sure. And if you guys don't know my boy Jamie Kincaid, he's actually a former artist from the label I first started out with, Killer Clown Sounds. You know, he's... Definitely a long time friend of mine. So what up Jamie? What's good, bro? Good to see you up on here, homie But you know, I've definitely worked like Jamie in the past. He's got some great stuff, you know, really good friend of his You know, he's a very good friend to me. Awesome, dude And not shit Jamie just sitting here chilling and like I said, you know If you guys are just now checking out the live stream Go back to the beginning, watch it up till now. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But, you know, like I said, I am going to try to be opening up shop in a new online store called Made by Humans. Um, from what I've seen, you do get to keep everything you make. I'm hoping that that's what it is. I really am because, you know, Getting paid only eight dollars out of eighty bucks that somebody spent on a custom-made, unique, one-of-a-kind pair of shoes that I made from the ground up. You know that's pretty fucking ridiculous. That I only get eight dollars. Like I said, it could have something to do with Sam living in the UK. That could be it. But also at the same time, whether he's in the UK or not, they should be translating that money into U.S. dollars and not pounds. Like, you know, they should be, you know, converting the pounds into U.S. dollars and at least give me more than eight bucks out of the whole thing. At least give me, say, 30 to 40. Like, I'll settle for 30 or even 20. Anything above eight, I'll settle for.
All right, it's good to see you too, Steph. Well, like I said, guys, if you don't know Stephanie, she's actually one of my closest friends from high school. You know, she's a very good friend to me. She's definitely family, just like Angel. You know, Angel's one of my best friends as well. No doubt about it. You guys all, you know, are my closest friends, every single one of you guys. I don't favor anybody above anyone else. Like, that's not me. In my eyes, everyone is equal in my eyes. You are all family. You all mean everything to me. So there's no need to fight over me. Because I've had people do that. There's no need to fight. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Jamie's down as well, Angel. I forgot to tell you that. But... You know, like I said, you know, Ray John is definitely not a site that I'm going to be working with for very long. Like, it could have something to do with, like I said. <laughs> I know you guys do. But like I said, you know, once I get my $30 from Ray John, you know, once I make that 30 bucks and I do cash out, I am shutting down a shop on Ray John, opening up a new shop elsewhere. I just figured, you know, I'd tell you guys now, like I said, you know, like that way you guys don't go opening up a shop and get disappointed by these guys. Like I said, I do know that it costs a lot to have the shoes made, so that could be part of it too. But, you know... For the fact that, you know, they don't even give you any kind of, like, any kind of pension or any kind of, like, commission to say, hey, you know, you worked hard on this. Here's not only the $8, but here's what, you know, you made. You know, here's part of you know, that for doing this. Like, you know, like, it just, it makes no sense to me, you know, because I work my butt off on every single piece of clothing that I have in my shop, including my DK Customs gear, which I'm still working on designs for officially. I am working on that. But, like, for my Extreme Speeds, you know, custom team t-shirts, the official t-shirts for the U.S. Like, I worked hard on those. Like, if I only make $8 out of 80 bucks, I mean, it makes you wonder how much you're going to make or how much I'm going to make off of, you know, a $25 t-shirt or how much I'm going to get from the shop. Like, it makes no sense. Um, like I said, um, I do now have officially mixed superstar for the Wii, which I will actually bring up for you guys here in just a second. Ah, right, sounds good, man. And I know you don't, Angel. I know you don't fight over me. But, you know, there are some people in the past who have fought over me. If you guys know me from a lot of, like, a while back, you know, people like, you know, Zach's cousins and family, you know, like, Boyle and all them, they did fight over me, and it sucked. And that actually caused a lot of problems. So what I will do is I'll actually switch over from watching Teen Titans to Mech Superstar for you guys. So I can play you guys some of what I've been working on. 
Now, granted, this stuff that I'm going to be playing will not be released because it does not want to save to the thing. So, bear in mind that this is like, you know, a rare opportunity for you guys to hear, you know, what I can do on there. Um, I am thinking about doing Mix Superstar Sundays for you guys to give you guys something new each week. But, you know, I am very upset with Rage On and very disappointed in them. Like I said, I will be opening up shop elsewhere, you know, as soon as I can. Um, as you guys know, my computer is no longer around. We had to get rid of it. It officially died. So I no longer have a computer. So everything I do from here on out is going to be both we and mobile based. <clears throat> So I'll load up one of my mixes for you guys. Here you go, guys. Here is my dance track. Well, not really dance track, more of a dubstep slash shutdown track. I'll let me go. Let me know what you guys think. Now, let me restart it. Yes, I did. I did drop her. She is gone. And speaking of the devil, what is up, Danny? Let me know what you guys think, man. Post in the comments what you guys think of this track. And this is a one of a kind, never to be released track for you guys. Yeah, all of you watching this. Step slash techno track called Let Me Go. Post in the comments what you guys thought about that track. And if you guys want to see want to see me do more of you know mix superstar Sundays, I'll definitely do that. The only reason why I started it today is because I wanted to show you guys that yes, I do have it. Yes, I can record on this. 
So I will be recording a little bit here and there, but mostly I will be focusing all my energy into my digital painting, my artwork, and into, you know, opening up a new shop somewhere else, as well as into my Star Maker account. I'll be focusing a lot on those. Hey, Crystal, what's up? And to answer your question, Angel, yes, I did drop Francis. And speaking of which, if any of you are in the UK and you guys are looking to promote somebody, hit up Angel. She has a lot of my stuff that she can promote for you. She's actually my main promoter for here in the US, as well as a promoter for the awesome, amazing band that I'm actually a huge friend or a huge fan of that she's friends with. And whatnot. Which. And if you guys want to know the name of the band, they're called Some Fear None. They've got some amazing music. Definitely check them out. They got some good stuff. They have YouTube. They have everything. So they have some amazing music. You know, I'm definitely a huge fan. You know, for sure. So thank you, Angel, for introducing me to that music. To their music, I fucking love it. I actually have them on my Spotify too, on my playlist. You know, I just added some of their music to it, so awesome shit. But like I said, if any of you want to promote any of my stuff, feel free to share it around, tag me, and everything that you share. Though, like, let me know by tagging me. Hey, Julianne, what's up? And I do actually have a couple, you know, other tracks as well that I'm going to do for you real quick as well while I'm thinking about it. So I'm sitting here looking through something here. Now I want you guys to listen to this drum track because I did use the same sample or the same vocal sample for this real short drum track. I want to know what you guys think. This is a short little sample of a rap track or a rap beat that I did using some similar vocals and one of the vocal samples that I got in a pack that I, and a sample pack that I bought. Oh, yeah, something's definitely up, guys. So hold on. That is not normal. Delete that. Man, that was weird. Oh, that was hard on the ears, man. That was very hard on my ears. Fuck. I don't know what happened with that, guys. But there you guys have it. That's one of my tracks for you. Um, like I said, I am going to be looking for, you know, a new shop to release my clothing line and stuff from. Like I said, it could have something to do with him being in the UK. I don't know. But let's just, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Hey, Stephanie, what up? Let 
but you know, it just it does really disappoint me that you know I know level of disappointment, you guys have no idea. I worked my ass off on those eighty dollar pair of shoes. And out of that eighty, I'm only getting eight. Like what the fuck? I get they have to ship halfway around the world. But dude. Seriously? Well, like I said, I am going to give it a chance here in the U.S. So if you guys are in the U.S. and you want to buy any of my clothing, Angel will send you the link to my Rayjohn store. Or if you go to rayjohn.com and look up DK Customs, that's D-K-C-U-S-T-O-M-S, all one thing. Hit me up on there. I have some custom gear on there you guys can buy. But with that being said, yo, I've got to hop off here. Um, I am going to be posting out more songs. Angel, I am going to send you the link to my latest song cover. So be looking for that. And it's going to be the one for my um, Star Maker. So be ready for that. So you can promote that around as well. Well, with that being said, guys, be looking on the lookout for more artwork from me that's going to be up for sale for you guys. And with that being said, also be on the lookout for a new shop coming soon. With that being said, guys, I love you all. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.